Hi, this is Reverend Audio, and continuing preamplifier week, the big question do I need a preamplifier? Let's answer it very shortly, very briefly. So, first of all, if you are only listening to digital, so you are fully digital only, and uh, you want to limit your budget to some real life uh, expectations then your very best choice is to have the volume controlling done in the DAC, in the digital domain, and then you can get by without using a preamplifier and just connect your DAC directly to your power amplifier and you can live a very happy life that way. Uh, only consideration is to choose uh, the DAC so that the output impedance of the DAC matches the input impedance of the CD player. Uh, sorry, <laughs> the, the, the power amplifier. Sorry, guys, it's really late for me. I had a very long day at work. Uh, so the output <laughs> impedance is low enough of the DAC to drive the power amplifier which is really a non-issue nowadays. Uh, it's, it's very hard to find a DAC that doesn't have a, a low enough output impedance and in the uh, analog section to drive the power amp uh, because, uh, anyway. So, so basically you want to have that situation. And now, if, if the, the situation is less than satisfactory, what can happen in this case is if, if your deck is not good enough, then you will start to hear the problems through your amplifier and, and the speaker. You, you, you hear that something just doesn't add up. It's, it's not, not, the sound is not fleshed out, it's just hollow, there's something broken, or maybe just disembodied voices floating around, and, and it, it doesn't have guts, doesn't have emotions, it's just like or, or uh, in, in that case, people try to fix it by adding a preamp or maybe adding a tube preamp to warm up the sound, to mellow it up. But uh, that's not the right thing uh, because your problem is not a lack of preamplifier, but it's problem with the output stage of your digital. You have to fix your digital. That's your problem there. Uh, and then the preamplifier will mask certain problems, but it won't fix it. So you will end up throwing money into the wrong well. So, so in, in that case, if you have this type of scenario that you have a, 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 a DAC and, and you, you control your volume with the DAC, because that's the number one function of preamplifier, is to be able to adjust the volume when you need uh, and uh, number two is to have impedance matching, and uh, and f and for as I said, for DAX you don't need impedance matching for for power amplifiers, except in those cases if you have like a really low impedance power amplifier. Then in that case, I would really suggest to put that amplifier on Craigslist and sell it and get one that matches your DAC, or, or get a DAC that has a low enough output impedance to match your amplifier. So fix the impedance mismatch. How you know if there's an impedance mismatch? The power amplifier's input impedance has to be at least 100 times greater than the output impedance of the DAC. So if this is not happening, then you know you have to fix it. Either you have to increase the input impedance of your power amp, or you have to decrease the output impedance of your CD player. Uh, and then when you have that, at least 100 to 1 ratio between the two, then you don't have an impedance problem anymore. If you don't have 100 to 1, you have maybe 50 to 1 or 20 to 1, then you are in deep doo-doo land, you have to fix it. And uh, one way is maybe to add the preamp. But uh, I would say that, uh, that, that, that a much better solution is to fix the, the impedance interface between the two. Because for a DAC, 
uh, deck level output, you don't need an extra gain for a power amplifier or for most of the power amplifiers. And uh, because the out uh, input, the gain for most power amps is about 2 volts nowadays, output of the decks is at least 2 volts, and there are some decks that can put out 4 volts, 8 volts, so there's absolutely no need for a preamplifier because you don't need the gain. And if it has the volume control in it, then you have everything controlled. So if you are digital only and you don't want to spend like gazillions of money on it, because oh, true, if you have an impedance mismatch and, and you get a $30,000 preamplifier, yeah, that will help you. But, uh, but, but you don't need to spend 30000 on a preamplifier, you can just maybe like uh, spend like a, a little bit more on your deck and then you are there and you don't need to sell your car to to get to a solution and 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 by the way if you fix your deck issue it it the overall result will be better than putting any preamplifier between your deck and your power amp so even though it might be like a thirty thousand dollar preamplifier but no preamplifier and the great deck is better than any preamplifier and uh, and a not so good deck. So that's it. If you use digital, then you don't. I don't recommend using a, a, a preamplifier even it has volume control. So what happens if you have a deck and you are using only digital, but you cannot control the volume in your in your deck it has a set output and there you have enough gain but you need to be able to turn the volume down how do you do that let's check it out in the next video bye see you guys i hope this was useful